Now, I'm not a religious man, but if I was... Right, so we're seeing a bit of a two-stroke revival in the dirt bike scene, right? And um, you know, I'm seeing I'm seeing some videos, and you know, the two-stroke crew are giving it the big one. Um, so I wanted to do I wanted to do a video just to remind the world that us Carters we're kind of the two-stroke elite, um, and now I'm going to explain why, right? Now, we talk about two strokes and we often say oh, it's, it's pure, it's more racy, blah blah blah. You know, you got your CR250s, you got all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, you think you're screaming, you think you're dreaming, mate, but you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing on us. So I'm going to show you what two stroke engines are really about. And uh, I've got two prime examples here. We've got a Master MXL circa 2006 and a TT75 made by Perilla or IAMI whatever you want to call it this was homologated in 1989 and as you'll notice if we inspect it there is no clutch we do not need a clutch we have legs now I guess I guess you know you have the kickstart and all that but there's there's no kickstart with this this is you have to run alongside the cart and you have to jump in to get this thing moving ain't no you'll kick start easy money easy just stand on your bike you just keep kicking it till you go if this thing goes this thing goes and you're not sat in the car it goes mate it goes on its own so we've got no clutch lovely jubbly there is no gearbox there is nothing this is single gear this is as pure as it gets. Now, I know some of you will say, oh, this is water-cooled. I, I get your point. It is water-cooled. Um, so we shift over to the air-cooled one. This is, this is what it's really about. Now, both of these have got reed valves. You can have a rotary valve. You can have a piston port. Now, one fellow car once told me, he says, oh, if you're all about purity, um, why, why, why do you like reed valves and rotary valves? But piston port technically is less complicated, and he, he had a point. Um, but I'll just ignore him. So that's that. We've got air cooled, lovely design, looks very attractive. You'll notice it's about car engines, um, particularly the air cooled ones. They're very artistic, very, very attractive things to look at. They look as good on your shelf as they do on the cart, and they're exposed. With your bikes, it's all covered up. You can't see it. With a car, you can actually see the engine. And, and you can hear this, mate. This thing makes a racket like you would not believe. And what are we talking about? Revs. 16,000 RPM? 17 18 mate we ain't we ain't even running in yet this engine here i got this engine well not this exact engine because this engine hasn't even been run in yet and it was last rebuilt in like 2006 used at the world championship or not um it's, i think it's a, it's an ex alexander sims engine but this engine um one of them we've got. I got to about twenty and a half thousand at Rye House. Um, you could probably take it to twenty one. We're talking serious revs here, mate. There ain't. This is what it's about with these engines. They're hundred cc, right? So you just got to rev the nuts off them to make them go quick. And yeah, you're up, up to twenty thousand with this. This, I mean, I wouldn't take it much higher than nineteen and a half. Um, the, the water cooled ones are a little the, the later development because obviously this is 2006 we we started really pushing so yeah this is this is what two stroke is really about now we used uh, butterfly carbs for this and um, I'll go and show you the carbs have a nice look at that a couple of ideas a uh, lovely bit of engineering and um, let's take a closer look at them so here's the carburetor 
It's dark, so you can't quite see it. It's an L2 Ibea. You see that? Is it in focus? I don't know. It's a, it is. 24mm, I think. It's got an interesting profile. I think it was... There weren't many of these made at the time. I could be wrong. But, um... Cool, isn't it? Now, <clears throat> for you... For you... For you dirt bike lads. Thinking you're... Thinking you're all it. Um... When we set the jet in, we've got... We've got a low jet... High jet, and we've got this this sort of third jet here. Now, these are adjustable just by twisting, and you can do it on the fly. You see, so if you ever see those pictures of old carts, and you see people with their hands sort of over the engine, they're adjusting these because that's what you do with these. When you when you're revving that eye, mate, you need to you need to be careful. You know how much fuel's going in the engine. So the sticker's gone. That's a shame. But yeah. That's that's what we're about, mate. This is this is this is pinnacle pinnacle two stroke. This is how you really do it. So yeah, there you go. My old man's old bureau. Don't laugh. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The engine we have here. This is this is one that um, the last time this was used was Christ. Um, 2011 I think so um, I have looked inside it but I thought I'll, I'll give you guys a little peek you can have a look at the have a look at what one of these engines looks like inside because this has to do 20,000 rpm and yes when they when they when they seize they lock up and there's a tire wall there you go in it. So, my secret. Now, as much as I love 100cc car engines, when it comes to the science of it all, I've got no clue what I'm doing. All I know is you need roughly 16 to 1 fuel to oil mixture. Now, some of you dirt bike crew might think, what, well, that's a lot of oil. We shell M, caster. Which is no more. Rest in peace. And that's that's a proper oil ratio. That's that's what you need with these. And the smell is out of this world. Now, like I said, I ain't no technical person. I don't really have a clue what I'm doing when it comes to engines, so I can't really tell you anything other than the piston goes up. There's an explosion. It goes down. Then that's about it. Mm. That's why you can probably see I'm not particularly comfortable. I'm more of an artistic person. I like the way it sounds and looks. So I don't want to cock this up, which I inevitably will. This engine has sort of been sat in the garage for a few years, so pardon if there's a bit of corrosion. Don't message me, yeah, they need it that well, you should have done it like this. It all needs a full rebuild anyway. Take the head off. I mean, I don't know, what'd you make of that? I don't know. I'm not an engine builder. Well, let's, uh, let's take a closer look inside. There you go, there's the exhaust ports. I guess it's all been tuned and all that kind of stuff. There's your inlet side. Sorry for the overexposed image. So, we have these beautiful engines, and you would notice that the dates is 89 2006. You'll notice 2021. You'd be like, oh, what went wrong? Um, that. That was. That's, that's what went wrong. So, yes, I do own a Rotax Max at the moment. And you'll notice you've got a power valve, you've got a clutch down there. We got wires all over the place, and if I just turn it over here, you got balance gears, and it's a bit of a mess of an engine. If you're into your two strokes, you might recognise it looks a bit like an RS125 Aprilia motor. I think that's kind of what it's based on. And yeah, this changed the game a bit in 1997. You know, you only rev it to about 14, 25. I don't really want to talk about it all that much, but um, 
this is good this is meh. this is yes this is this is racing this is purity this is yeah but you know the engine lasts quite a long time but look at that look at i mean the noise and the sound and the smell but the engine rebuilds though yeah but i mean look at that that's what we really want in it let's face it so, I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's a little, expl little explanation as to why us carters, us old school carters at least, we are we are the best. And, uh, you know, that's why. What else can I say? If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out the links below to our Patreon page and PayPal and also the links to our merch store on Teespring. Thanks for watching.